Why, hello there. I've been tagged by Out of This World Reader to do the last 10 book tags. So, uh, here we go. Hello, my friends. Um, as just discussed, Ian from Out of This World Reader has tagged me in the last 10 book tag. Uh, quiz, I guess we'll call it. Uh, so I'm going to dive into it and uh, see what it has in store for us. Question one, what is the last book that you didn't finish? That is a great question. The last book that I didn't finish was book number three in the Southern Reach trilogy and it was called Authority and it is by, what is the author's name? Can't even remember. Jeff Vandermeer. Now this hurts me this one because the first book, Annihilation, which I believe has a Netflix series or a movie, I'm not too sure. It was a great concept. It was about a bunch of these people that um, something happened in the world and this dome essentially formed over a section of the world and the government sent all these different troops in to see what was going on and everyone in the, the uh, team either didn't come back or they come back with a disease such as cancer or their memories were wiped and things like that. And then you kind of follow the story of this next troop going in. So the concept was amazing. And book number one, I actually really enjoyed. Book number two, uh, you know, I painfully got through it. Uh, it wasn't as horrible enough to uh, put it down, but it wasn't the most exciting thing out there. And then book number three, I read maybe the first 100 pages and I just couldn't bear it anymore. I actually found myself picking it up and finding it a chore to sit down and read it. So that was the last book that I didn't finish. Question number two is, what is the last book you reread? Okay, so fun fact about me is I don't often reread books. Um, I think that's because I end up, the ones that I love, I think I get a little bit worried that I'm gonna reread them and then not like them. So I love the Harry Potter series and I really want to reread them, but there's a little part of me that's going, what if they're not as good as what you remember them being? And then I've kind of ruined that whole thing. So what I might do in that situation is download the audiobooks. And I have heard the Harry Potter audiobooks are amazing. But the last book I reread would have been, uh, We Have Always Lived in the Castle by Shirley Jackson. This is a classic and is one of my favorite books. It's eerie, it's unusual, it's mysterious, it's mysterious, it's gothic, it's, yeah, it's cool. The next question is, what was the last book that you purchased? And that would be the Rose Society from the Young Elite series by Marie Lu. Um, Rose Society is book number two. And as you can hear, my dog Ralph, who you've met in the last video, is making himself known. Uh, yes, yeah, so that was the last one I purchased. I just finished reading book number one and I look forward to doing a review on that soon. I uh, loved it and I've dived straight into book number two. Okay, the next question is, the last book you said you read but didn't. Okay, I don't often make a habit of this, but I do remember back in high school when Twilight was a big thing and I read the first Twilight book but just couldn't get into it and everybody was obsessed so to fit in I just kind of said that I'd read them all. I certainly didn't. And I think back and go, how are you expecting people to believe that? You don't even really know anything about what happened at those other couple of books. And what if anyone asks you questions? You're not gonna know. So past loop is pretty stupid. But since then, I don't think I've ever said that I have read a book when I haven't because I don't see the point. Question number five, the last book you wrote in the margins of, um, that would be The Kingdom of Back by Marie Lu. I don't often write in margins or highlight on my Kindle. Um, I definitely have done it before, but I don't, yeah, for me, it's just not something I do. Um, but this last book that I read maybe ooh, six to 12 months ago, um, it's based on Wolfgang Mozart and his sister Maria. Um, it was an incredible book, kind of, it was fiction, but it was loosely based on fact because the rumor has it that uh, if you don't know who Wolfgang Mozart is, he is a famous composer back in the 1750s, I believe. Um, and his sister was rumored to be more talented than him and often performed alongside him. But because she was a female, she wasn't able to take the lead. Um, and the story kind of follows her dealing with that and 
the writing in it was just literally magical. Every line was just like poetry almost. So I definitely highlight a few things in that one. What are we up to now? Question number six, the last book you had signed. Um, I actually purchased Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone slash Sorcerer's Stone, pending where you are in the world. Um, I purchased it from Dimmix Books because they had this deal on where they were signed by JK Rowling. So I ordered myself a copy of one of those. Unfortunately, I didn't meet JK Rowling, but I do have a book with her signature in it, which means a lot to me. Um, and then I can't really remember any of the other ones that I have signed. I don't think I have a lot, to be honest, but um, yeah, Harry Potter. Number seven, the last book you lost. That would be Power X. Um, I lent that one to my brother, I believe, and when I bought it up with him, he said, no, I don't have it. Mm, very suspicious if you ask me. So uh, I've asked him to relook because I believe he has it. But that would be the last book that I have lost. And I don't like losing books, especially ones I like, like Power X. Okay, question number eight, the last book you had to replace. Um, what was the last book I had to replace? Um, I can't think of it. I have spilt a cup of tea on a book that I enjoyed and it was by Jodie Pico and um, I can't remember the title of it right now but I really enjoyed it but I haven't replaced it but I definitely will replace it when I see it in store next. Um, question number nine, the last book you had an argument over, that would be The Hunger Games book one. Someone at work um, read them or read book one and didn't go on with the series because they didn't enjoy it and I was like, can we even be friends anymore? Like, I'm all for everyone's opinions, but the first Hunger Games book, it's just incredible. So this is what I blame for her reasoning for this. Because back when The Hunger Games came out, I felt like it was a really different concept. Um, apart from Battle Royale, there was nothing like this, and a lot of people hadn't heard of the Battle Royale version, which is a Japanese uh, movie and based on an anime, I believe. Um, and I felt like when the Hunger Games came out, there was nothing like it. So the whole idea of a bunch of teenagers getting thrown into a world, um, battling for rich people's entertainment and one person coming out the winner, I literally was, sign me up. So I feel like if you were to read it now, perhaps it wouldn't have be the greatest idea in the world. Not that there's loads of books like that, but I feel like the YA genre has stepped up big time and there's really interesting stories out there. Um, lots of um, characters going through training academies, similar to what Katniss did and things like that. So I feel like if she had read it when it came out, she would have a different opinion. She disagrees, that's completely fine, but we definitely had a lunchtime debate over that one. <laughs> Um, question number 10, the last question, the last book you couldn't get a hold of. Okay, speaking of Marie Lu, she's a topic in this video and I want to do a video on her because I've read most of her books and she's awesome, but I'll save that for the video. Um, Skylander, she, so as I just said, I've read most of her books. Um, the Young Elite series that I'm reading now is the last series that I haven't read from her but she has just released a new series called Sky Hunter and I went to go download it onto my Kindle and it is not available in the Kindle store and at first I thought well Amazon's clearly stuffing up so I logged onto my laptop and searched for it and could not find it and then I went on to um, some bookstore websites here in Australia who also didn't have it but they can order it in so I did send out a tweet and I'm like why why but nobody can give me an explanation so that's the last book that I couldn't purchase and I'm hoping it comes out on Kindle soon because I believe she is releasing the second one shortly so hopefully that prompts um, her publishers to load it on there. So that is the last 10 book tag. Um, I'm probably a little late to this one and I've seen a lot of people do it already. So um, I'm going to tag uh, Steve Talks About Books and Things. Um, I'm going to tag Jeremy Fee. I'm going to tag Attention and I'm going to tag Bambi Reads. So any of those people that I've tagged, if you've already done it or you're not interested, don't worry, I won't take offense if you don't do it. And anybody else watching this that wants to do it, make sure you tag me and I'll be sure to check it out. Uh, thanks for checking in. I am going to release another video very shortly about um, some exciting news for me. Uh, talk to you soon. Bye.